Pasties, Pirates and Poldark. And for this week only, home to some of the most important people in the world. I'm very pleased to be here. And that includes a lyrical legend who has written some of the world's greatest songs for some of the world's favourite musicals, Sir Tim Rice. Sir Tim is using his songwriting talents to help young people send a message of unity during the G7. So with that vital G7 meeting taking place just a few miles from here, it's perfectly fitting that message is being sent from inside there. The absolutely stunning Truro Cathedral. But Sir Tim isn't doing this alone. He's being joined by choirs and singers from around the world. G7 for now and for all time. They're all preparing to perform his latest composition, written to urge the G7 leaders to listen to young people all over the globe. Esme and Christopher are the driving forces behind it. So Esme, where did the idea for this come from and why in song? When the G7 was announced, Christopher Gray and I got thinking, how do we make this relevant for children? They've got so much that they want to say to leaders who are deciding their future. And song, we wanted it to touch the leaders in their heart. Chris, how did you get Sir Tim Rice to get involved? Oh, I phoned Sir Tim Rice up and asked. And that, that's not, not a cold call entirely. <laughs> um, uh, Sir Tim is a patron of our choir and it seemed an obvious thing to ask if he would write some lyrics for a song. We've got 27 countries involved now in pretty much every continent. Um, 25,000 children. What? Yes. <laughs> for the song's message of unity to really hit home, everyone needs to know how to do it justice. So, it's rehearsal time, which means the Zoom call to end all Zoom calls, with 1,400 participants dialing in. So Chris is about to teach um, some of the children all over the world along Zoom and the kids here how to sing the song, so it's very exciting. Your brightest faces on, and let's have a sing. While they warm up, I'm taking Sir Tim aside to find out how he came up with lyrics that could grab the attention of the G7 leaders. So many things that are linked to the number seven have been around for longer than we have. Rainbows, the seven days of creation, the seven continents. I didn't really want to write a song about Joe Biden and everybody else. It didn't inspire me as much as the idea of the number seven stretching back through history. We've been around for only a little while on this planet. So let's not forget that the planet is and the entire universe is something bigger than we understand or will ever understand. There's a very cheeky threat in there with the last line. <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> well, I just wanted to say that if you don't think about less fortunate people, then you don't deserve to turn up and have a meeting. I mean, I'm sort of saying, in, in, in a not vicious way, but watch it. If you don't do a good job, you'll be out. That's democracy, basically, I think. Meanwhile, after banishing a few technical gremlins... Can you give me a wave if you can see choristers now? Brilliant! Off we go again. Rehearsals are in full swing. Standing up choristers, please. This is Pythagoras. It's like being back at school. I was in the choir. I was a soprano. The choirs will perform the song in their own countries, but for the 16 members of the cathedral choir, their next performance is extra special. 